Merry Christmas, IC Bogor family. Thank you so much for joining us this Christmas morning as we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. Today's devotional that we're going to talk about is called The Promise Gift. You know, I was thinking about the gift of Jesus and the birth of Christ, and I was relating it to the fact of waiting for something really special. And, you know, have you ever had that in your life where maybe you waited for a special encounter with somebody, or maybe you were waiting for a special event to come, or a special gift that you were looking to receive and expecting to get? How did you feel while you were waiting for that event or for that gift to arrive? Were you anxious? Were you nervous? Were you scared? Were you patient? And then how did you feel like once you got the gift? Once the event happened, did it meet your expectations? Did it fall short? Were you disappointed? You know, I remember as a child growing up, I always was very excited for my birthday to come around or for when Christmas was coming around the corner. And I would start to make a list of ideas of the toys and presents that I wanted my parents to buy me for my birthday or for Christmas. And I would make out these big lists of, you know, toys that were new, maybe a new movie or clothes or shoes and hoping that my parents would get exactly what I asked for. And I remember as the days were getting closer to my birthday, I would get very excited and I was eagerly waiting that when I got to open my presents, I would get everything I expected. And I quickly learned over the years that oftentimes I didn't get everything that I wanted. And sometimes I would actually feel disappointed that I didn't get the exact toy that I was expecting. And I didn't get every single thing that I asked for on my Christmas list. And there was other times that they got me something that I totally didn't ask for and it would exceed my expectations and I was overwhelmed with excitement and joy and I was so grateful and thankful. And you know, we all know as Christians that Christmas is really about the birth of Jesus Christ. And it's not about all the gifts and the decorations and all the yummy food that we eat on Christmas Day. Those things are really nice and I enjoy those and there's nothing wrong with it. But I think it's something that really passes us by is understanding the magnitude that God himself would come down to earth as a humble baby to deliver his people. That God was coming to bring redemption to a broken relationship between him and man. And so with this promised gift that was about to arrive, the days of living in darkness we're approaching an unimaginable light, the birth of Jesus Christ. You know, our story begins way back in the garden when God was walking with Adam and Eve. Can you imagine that experience, what that must have been like for them? But just like Adam and Eve's sin, our sin separates us from a holy God. But God still loves us like only he can, we are his creation and he loves us unconditionally. And so God had a plan to redeem us and to set us free from the sin and shame in our lives and to bring us back into fellowship with him once again. And it was through that promised gift of Jesus Christ. And so as the years went on, God began to remind his people of the promise that was come, the restoration that would take place. And so he spoke through the prophets, Isaiah, thousand years before the birth of Christ, God spoke through the prophet Isaiah to the people in Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14. He said, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel, which we've learned means God is with us. He just shortly after that, again, spoke through Isaiah the prophet to the people to remind them of what was coming. He says in chapter 9, verse 6 and 7, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, and of the increase of his government and of peace, there will be no end. On the throne of David and over his kingdom, to establish it and to uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time forth and forevermore. 
You know, the promised Messiah would actually come from the earthly lineage of King David. But unlike an earthly king, his kingdom and his peace will have no end. And it'll be ruled with justice and righteousness. Praise the Lord. God then spoke through the prophet Micah a couple hundred years later. And he said in, in Micah chapter 5, verse 2 through 5, he reminded the people and says, But to you, O Bethlehem, Ephrathah, who are too little to be among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to be ruler in Israel, whose coming forth is from of old, from ancient days. Therefore he shall give them up until the time when she who is in labor has given birth. Then the rest of his brothers shall return to the people of Israel, and he shall stand and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord, and they shall dwell secure. For now he shall be great to the ends of the earth, and he shall be their peace. The coming king would come out of Bethlehem, an unlikely small, humble city for a king. And God was giving the gift, the good shepherd, for his people, that our lives would be secure in him as we dwell with him. He will be our peace. And so when the time had fully come, God sent his son, born of a virgin, born under the law, to redeem those under the law, that we might receive adoption as sons. And so the birth of Jesus was exactly when God had planned it, as he spoke all along through the prophets. And so through the life, death, and resurrection of Christ, we might receive this gift of love and be adopted into the family of God. How does that message impact our lives today, church? That you are sons and daughters of the Most High God. Our eternal hope comes from Jesus Christ and it's redemption of God's people only through Christ alone. What a spectacular gift we have been given. We never could have expected such an amazing gift that God came so humbly and we didn't deserve it, but God loves us. Paul writes in Colossians chapter 1, For he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness, and brought us into the kingdom of the Son he loves, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. The Son is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For in him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities. All things have been created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. See, God's grace was revealed when man sinned, but he promised the deliverer, Jesus Christ, his son. And so the promised gift from God this day is Jesus Christ, his son, to deliver us from our sins and to bring reconciliation back to our relationship with God. What a precious gift we have been given. Emmanuel, God with us. God bless you this Christmas Day, church. Enjoy your time together. God bless you.